Good evening, Claudia. Oh. Hello, good evening, Claudia. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening, Salvador. Hello. Good evening, Miss. Hi, how are you today? I am fine. Thank you. Good. All right. Excellent. How was your day? Very good. Very good. Today, very good. All right. In my work. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, Salvador? Uh, lesson four. You're in four, lesson four. Four punto point. Point eight. Four point eight. Okay. All right. You're doing pretty well. Almost getting to section five. Okay, that's nice. And how about the midterm test? Tell me about it. How was it? Easy? Como esto one midterm test? Como lo sintió? Fácil, easy, so so, más o menos. Uh, How was it? So so, so so. So so, okay. That's okay, so so. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Eduardo Alexander, good evening. Hello, Eduardo. Good evening, Julio. Hi, how's everything? How are you? Good, very good, thanks. Okay, Thank sounds good. Well, I can complain. It's been a, a good day. Yeah, it's been nice. And how about the platform, Julio? Um, I, uh, I finished. You finished? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I think you, you told me yesterday, right? Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's great. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Yes. Oh, you got it. Yes, I can hear you now. How are okay. you today, Eduardo? Very well. Okay, 
Excellent. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Maria Jose. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you, teacher? Okay, nice. I'm doing well, thanks. How was your day, Maria Jose? Very nice. Okay, okay, sounds great. Whatever. And um, how about the platform? How are you doing? In the lesson four. You're in lesson four already, okay, very well. Yes. And how about the midterm test? How was it? Como estuvo el examen midterm? Easy, so so, difficult. So so. <laughs> so so, okay. All right. <laughs> and the topics, Maria Jose, con los temas, como va? Y tiene alguna consulta, todo claro hasta el momento? How do you feel? Eh, hasta el momento, claro, todo. Sí. Okay. All right. Great. Mrs. Hi. Uh, so, so y, y con help. Excuse me? I couldn't hear you. So, 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 for, uh, la lesson. So, so y con help y con um, ayuda. Oh, you needed help. Okay. All right, that's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Let's see, Maristela, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Okay, nice. How was your day, miss? Very good. All right, did you work? Did what? Repeat, please. Okay, did you work? Trabajo ahora, did you work? Yes. Oh, you did. What do you do? A que se dedica, Maricela? Auditoria. Oh, okay, you're an auditor. All right, yes. that's very interesting. Yes. And the platform, how are you doing? Uh, in section, section four, Section four, okay, nice. We're doing very well. You're all in section four and some of you have already finished. So that is very nice. So let me get to know you better. Let's see, Maria Jose, what do you do? A que se dedica usted, Maria Jose? Uh, auditor. Oh, you are an auditor as well, huh? Yes. Your colleagues, son colegas con Maricela. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. But name, do you know each other? Pero no se conocían antes, o no se conocen. Sí, eh, oh. trabajamos juntas. Oh, okay, nice. Your co-workers. That's great. Yes. Okay. And how about Eduardo? Eduardo, what do you do? Eduardo. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál, cuál, Eduardo cuál? Alexander. Madre mía. Customs. Customs. So, what do you what do you do, Eduardo? Customs. ¿A qué se dedica? Customs. Uh, Customs. I... Customs. Trabajo en el área de auditoría. Oh, okay. All right, nice. That's great. And how about you, Julio? What do you do? Excuse me, your microphone is off, mister. Excuse me. Uh, aduana. Oh, okay. Okay. Teacher, ¿cuál es la pronunciación de aduana? Aduana. To be honest, I don't remember the word. Let me check it. Mm, is it border or? Um, okay, let me Lo que pasa, it. a mí me aparece, me aparece custom, customs, customs pero, yes. pero la pronunciación, no yeah, sé si es correcta, mm -hmm. customs. Yes, customs. 
in my word in customs. Okay, all right. Very interesting, good. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Hello, good evening, Juan Carlos. Uh, good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, nice. And how about uh, the platform? Juan Carlos, tell me about it. How are you doing? ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? Uh, noche estuve practicando y lo que me dio problema es los apóstrofes para abreviar I oh. am o I me costó porque no me aceptaba la, oh. la abreviatura de okay. I'm. Ok. And could you fix it at the end? Pero logró resolverlo al final. Me costó, por eso me un poquito porque busqué en la tabla ASI y me decía que era AL 39 para mm -hmm. poner lo que es el apóstrofe. Okay. Por eso me iba a sentir, pero al final sí lo logré. Es lo mm -hmm. único que he tenido problema. Ok. All right, you got it. That's great. Thank you. Let me see. Amalia Magdalena, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Amalia? Good evening. Hi. Hello. How are you today, Amalia? Good. Okay, nice. And how about the platform? How are you doing with that? Yo voy en... La section 5, five. Okay, you're in section 5. Awesome, almost done. Sí, ya tengo, creo que... Creo... Excuse me? Creo que tengo el 86%. Oh, okay, you got 86%. Hello. Excellent. All right, keep going. That's great. Daisy Sarai, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Daisy? Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, nice. And how are you doing with the platform? Como va con la plataforma? In section five. You're in section five as well, okay. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, I think we may start, so. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Let me get my presentation. So welcome to our class number nine. And let's start by reviewing what we studied yesterday, which was prepositions, right? So we got some different prepositions. And we're just going to take a look at them again. We're going to review them. We had in. And remember that in is, for example, if I have a box like this, and then I put a ball inside, let's say, now the, the ball or the circle is inside the, the box or the, what is it, rectangle, right? Then our next one was on. On, if we want to represent it, would be like, I have, oh, let me make it bigger. So it would be, for example, like this, right? I have the box again, and I got the ball just on the box. You see in the first one, the ball is in the box. In the second one, the ball is on the box. Next, we have in front of. So if I want to put the, the ball in front of the box, it would be something like 
let's say like this, right? So the ball is in front of the box. And let me see, let me raise this one so I get more space. Okay, next preposition was behind. Behind, it's like I have a ball. And then I have the box, but well, I cover it a little. So the ball is behind the box, I would say. In the next preposition, we have next to. For next to, we have the box and then the ball, right? The ball is next to the box. The ball is next to the box. And let's see what's next. Under, we have under, we would have the box and then the ball would be over here, right? The ball is under the box. Now a uh, let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat please. In. 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 On. Um, 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 in front of, in front, in front of, um, behind, behind, next to, next to, under, 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 under. Okay, one more time. In front of, in front, in front, in front of. 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 Okay, it is not of, oh. in front of, uh-uh, we say in front of, of, right? Um, in of. front of. Yes, in let's say them of. one more time, everybody. In. 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 On. 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 In front of. In front of. of. Behind. 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 Next to. Next, Next. Under. 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 Okay, let's continue. Under. And we did this exercise yesterday, so let's go on. Now we're going to go to the platform and watch video 3.1, which is a conversation. Let me go there. <laughs> Okay, let's listen to the conversation. Everybody pay attention and then I ask you if you have any questions. So if you get if you get any doubts, you tell me when we stop it, okay? Let's listen. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled "Are You from Seoul?" This conversation illustrates how. Yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to... Okay, let me play it a second time. Let's listen to it again. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are 
Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, now I want you to take a look, <clears throat> excuse me. I want you to take a look at the conversation and tell me if you have any questions about the vocabulary. Tenemos consultas sobre el vocabulario. No, no questions. Tell me. Uh, ¿Qué es from danger? From the jam. From the jam. Yes, we're from the jam. That is the place. This is the place. The jam, like um, a city, maybe, or department in Korea, it says. Es una ciudad, un, un lugar en, en Corea. Yeah. And we're from, somos de, o venimos de, right? Venimos de, de mm -hmm. jam. That's how it goes. Good yeah. evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's practice the conversation together. Everybody repeat after me. Are you from California, Jessica? Are you, Are you from California, California Jessica? 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 Well, my family is in California now. Well, 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 Aren't Are you, you from, from Seoul? Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. No, no we're, we're not, not, not from, from Seoul. Seoul. We're from the Jan. We're, we're from, from the, the Jan. 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 So is your first language Korean? Is your, oh, uh, is your, your first language, language Korean? Korean? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it, is. it is. Okay, very good. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want all men to read for Tim and all women to read for Jessica, okay? Todos los hombres van a leer para Tim y las mujeres leemos por Jessica, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Okay. All right, let's practice it then. Let's read it. One, two, three, start. Are you from California? Well, 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 no, no, we're not from Seoul. We're from Vietnam. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Now, repeat after me, please. California. California. Family. 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 Korea. 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 Yeah. Originally. 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 Korean. 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 We're. 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 First. 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 Language. 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 Okay, very well. Now let me 
continue by um, going to 3.3. And let's listen to the explanation of the negative statements and yes, no questions would be. So this is only a review. We have already studied this. Let's review it. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn how to form negative statements and yes, no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. She's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So, are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Okay, so that is what we have for the negative form of the verb be and the interrogative form, right? Remember that in order to make negative statements, we only add not right after the verb be. And uh, to make yes, no questions, we change the order of the elements and we start the question with the verb be, right? Instead of saying you are, we say are you? And then we have the possible answers. Let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, please. I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York. You're not late. You're not late. 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 She's not from Russia. 
He's not from Italy. He's not, not from, Italy. from Italy. It's not English. It's not, not English. 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 We're not from Japan. We're, We're not, not, not from, from Japan. 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 You're not early. You're, You're not, not, not early. early. They're not in Mexico. They are not in Mexico. 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 We're? 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 We are. We are. We are. Are you from California? Are you, are you from, from California? California? Yes, I am. Yes, yes I, I am. am. No, I'm not. No, no I'm, I'm not. not. Am I early? Am I early? Yes, you are. Yes, yes you, you are. are. No, you're not. No, no you're, you're not. not. Is she from Brazil? Is she, is she from, from Brazil? Brazil? Yes, she is. Yes, yes she, she is. is. No, she's not. No, no she's, she's not. not. Is he from Chile? Yes, he is. Yes, yes he, is. he is. No, he's not. No, no he's, he's, not. he's not. not. Is it Korea? Is, is it, it Korea? 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 Yes, it is. Yes, yes it, it is. is. No, it's not. No, it's no, not. It's not. not. Are you from China? Are, are you, you from China? 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 Yes, we are. Yes, yes we, we are. are. No, we're not. No, no we're, we're not. not. Are we late? Are, are we late? late? Yes, you are. Yes, yes, yes you, you are. are. Yes, you are. No, you're not. No, no you're, you're not. not. Are they in Canada? Are they? Are they, are they, they are? Are? Yes, they are. Yes, they, they are. are. No, they're not. No, no they're, they're not. not. They're not. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. Now that we have reviewed this, let's continue by going to the practice. Well, first of all, I need you to make two sentences using each of the studied prepositions. So you make two sentences using in, two sentences using on, and so on, right? You use behind, under, in front of, next to. And, and well, you make sentences, and for example, you could say, well, uh, you could look around the things uh, you could look around you, right? The things that are around you and get some examples. So you could say the cell phone is on the desk, for example. Or I could say, I could also say the, let me change it to my, my glasses are in its case. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to use the prepositions in sentences, right? Necesito que hagamos oraciones utilizando las preposiciones. Son dos oraciones con cada una de las preposiciones. So it would be two using in, two using on, then two with behind, two with a next to, and so on. And then, eh, pueden utilizar para que se les haga un poquito más fácil cosas que estén a su alrededor, okay? Algunos ejemplos que puedan, eh, que puedan hacer a partir de lo que ustedes ven ahí donde están. Then the next thing I need you to do is to practice the conversation, 3.1. So you work in small groups, you take turns reading the conversation. La segunda cosa que vamos a hacer es practicar la conversación, la que acabamos de escuchar y de medio practicar. Vamos a tomar turnos ahí para irla leyendo. Are you ready? Or do you have any questions? Ready? ready? Okay. I'm ready. Yes. Okay, let me yes. send you to the breakout rooms then. And I'll send you the screenshots to the WhatsApp group, as we usually do. Here we go. Okay.
Hello, did you get the screenshots? Les... Hello. ¿Recibieron las capturas? Todavía no. Y las mandó al chat. You haven't... Yes, I did. Sí, las envié. Ah, ok. Ahora, you got them. Ok. Sí. All right, good. Bye. Ok, thank you. Por ejemplo, con in, podemos decir, my wallet is in my purse. My wallet, ¿qué dijo? Is in my purse, en mi cartera. Okay. Con son dos, ¿verdad? Sí. Vale, digamos, hagamos otro. Sería, uh, my shoes are in the box. Mis zapatos están en una caja. My shoes are in a box. Ah, ok. My shoes are in, in the box. Yeah. A box. A. En una caja. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora vamos con on. My pencil is on my book. On, on the book where Mi lápiz está en, en el libro. En el libro. Uh -huh. Go, go, go. Ay, ay. Hola. Hola. Y uh, voy. Estamos haciendo las oraciones con las preposiciones. Ah, ok. Estamos haciendo dos de cada uno. Ajá, ya. Yeah. Vamos por un. Eh, no sé. ¿Quién dice otra? My television is on the wall. Mi televisión está en la pared. O podría ser. Pero es que, no, es que on es sobre. Um, but that's okay. okay. Uh, you could also say on the wall. That's fine. It works. It's fine. Yes. Mm, Correct. Um, es en, ¿verdad? En, sí. En sobre. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ahora con in from, in from to in from in front of in from teacher es se pronuncia of o of 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 como yes. con b uh -huh. ah okay yes
Teacher puede decir uh, the supermarket is in front to gas station. In front of the gas station. Of the gas station. Uh -huh. In front of the gas station. Good. Podríamos poner eh, como a mi casa está frente al next to es a la par. Ah, ya no va a sacar. Solo eso nos faltó entonces. A la par de. No, you can uh, next to oh. continue working. Don't worry. <risa> okay. Tranquilo, eso es lo que acabo de unirme, por eso escucharon a él. Ah, uh, okay. <risa> yo pensé que ya no iba a sacar. <risa> Vale, entonces solo sería... nos falta una de next to a la par a la par de next. Uh -huh. eh, the sister uh -huh. the sister podría ser the sister next to eh, a movie next to the en, como viendo una película de movie um, uh, next abre to... ah, que si está diciendo como que la hermana a la par de la película. No, entonces sería ah. you, my sister podría decir my sister next to la uh, televisión. Uh -huh. Ajá. Um, on the move, no sé. La televisión. ¿Cómo sería, teacher? Yo creo que la teacher ya se fue. No, I'm ah, no. here. <laughs> So the you could use my sister is next to, but next to what or next to whom? Pueden utilizar esa de my sister, pero mi hermana está a la par de next to. De qué o de quién? Podría ser de televisión. Mío podría para decir personal es en primera persona. Okay. Um, all right. So in that case, you would say my sister is next to me. Or my sister is next to the television. It's okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll put All right. You got it. Okay. And how about the conversation? Have you practiced it? In the three foot one. Yes. Es que nos mandó la conversación también. Ah, es sí. que ya nos la mandó. Al grupal, en el grupal. Tenemos que practicar la conversación. Uh -huh. Vale, entonces. Tim y Jessica, gusta... ¿quién sería el chico que sea Tim? Yo, yo voy a ser Tim. Vale. <risa> ok. Sí, por descarte. <risa> Are you from California? We're not from Seattle. We're from. Uh, sí. So, is your first language Korea? Yes, it is. ¿Verdad que Seoul es? ¿Dijo Seoul o dijo Seoul? Ahí está la teacher. Seoul. Seoul. Ay, pero... <laughs> Don't Seoul. worry. <laughs> ¿Cómo es entonces? Seoul. 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 Yes, you say Seoul. La, como la... Como el modelo Jiang. de Seoul. Yep. Daejeon. Yep. O la otra, yeah, John. otro lugar, Dia John. De John, it says. De John. Yes. But don't worry that much about those words because they are not English, they are Korean, I mean. So it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. No nos preocupemos mucho porque en realidad esas palabras no son del inglés, son coreanas. Entonces, eh, ahí podemos variar un poquitín la, la pronunciación, pero eh, según la conversación es Sao. Y de John, y según el video, right? But it's okay. Please. Un lugar please. Yes. 
Miss. Sí. Miss. Y, y Corea. Corea con Corea. Korean. Ese es Corea y coreano. Korea, Corea, Korean, Coreano. That would be the nationality, the nationalidad. Korean. Corea. Coreano, Coreana. Uh -huh. Es que como están las dos, ¿verdad? Uno yes. dice Jessica, wow, my family in, in California. But we're from Korea. Yes, Original. we're from Korea. Oh. Somos de Corea o venimos de Corea. Y después dice... Ajá, y después dice, oh, my mother is Korean, Korean, o Korean. Korean, yes, my mother is Korean, mi madre es coreana. Ajá, cabal le decía, coreano y yes. coreana. That's right. Corea y coreana. So we have the country and the nationality, el país y la nacionalidad. Ok. Origin, originally. Thanks. Okay, no problem. You may continue practicing. Okay. Can see ahorita. Este, usted quiere seguir de team. <laughs> no, vaya, le voy a dar la oportunidad. Voy a ser Jessica. Oh, gracias, gracias. <laughs> are you from California? Uh, no. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. So, is your fifth language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay. Um... Salvador con ¿Con quién? María José. Salvador María José. Sí. ¿Qué él Bye. tiene problemas ahorita con el cel? Sí, don Salvador. Inicio. Sí. Vaya, ¿Sí? pues. <risa> Está bien. Good, good. Inicio ahorita. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother in Korean. From Seoul, are you from, from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Hoy practique a alguien ahí que no ha practicado. Yo voy a escuchar. <risa> bueno, creo que seguimos. Ok. Hoy se Ok. All right, we're coming back in one minute. Ok. Ok, Miss. Okay. Terminamos, teacher. <laughs> yes, we're almost done. We're just waiting for the for your classmates to come back. Some are missing. Mm. Ya, ya terminamos. Okay, that's good. All right, rooms are closed, so everybody's back. And let's see, we're going to check the practice then. First thing you had to do is to make sentences using the prepositions, right? So tell me some sentences using in. Let me see. Marina Morales, tell me a sentence, please, using mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my wallet is in my purse. My wallet is in my purse. Very well, Marina. 
Now choose one of your classmates to participate. Escoja algunos de sus compañeros para que participe, please. Eh, Jessica, creo. Hay alguien que se llame Jessica. Ok, let me check. Mm, no, we do not have any Jessicas. Um, a Salvador, a Salvador. Ok, Salvador. Ok. Hi. Ok, Salvador, do you have a sentence using in? In. Yes. Ok. In my pencil, pencil in, in the book. My pencil is in the book. Ok. It's right, that's fine. Ok, good, Salvador. Thanks. And tell Thanks. me who's next. Can see Salvador. Choose one of your classmates. Juan Carlos. Okay, Juan Hola. Carlos. <laughs> Presente por la plaza. <laughs> Go ahead and tell us uh -huh. one sentence with on. <laughs> on. Yes. Uh, my cell phone is on the desk. Okay, very good. Who's next, Juan Carlos? Um, uh, Julio Ortiz. Okay. Julio Ortiz. Go on, teacher. Yes, please. My cell, my, my cell phone are on the table. My cell phone on is table. on the table. Okay. Yes. All right, very well, Julio. Choose another person to participate, please. Janet. Okay, Janet, you're next. Oh, we got two Janets, Janet Jennifer and Janet Cermeño. Which one, Julio? Janet, Janet Cermeño. Okay. Thank you. All right, Janet Sarmenio, you tell us a sentence you've seen in front of. Hi, Janet. Oh, Janet, your microphone is off. In front, uh, in front of, yeah. Uh, solo off, only off. No, in front of, he used in front of in a sentence. In front of, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, my, my, my computer mm -hmm. is in front of my, 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 uh, ¿cómo se llama este? Uh, the shelf. Uh, the, the, the shelf. <laughs> Let's call it shelf. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good, Janet. Now choose one of your classmates. Escoja a otro de sus compañeros, please. Eh, puede ser este Maricela o la la o la bueno también la con la que estuvo guiando. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maricela. So, Maricela Salinas. Let's see, Maricela, uh, can you give us an example using in front of? Oh. My house is in front of the park. My house is in front of the park. Very good example. Okay, Maricela, who's next? Mm. Daisy Sarai. Okay. Daisy, you tell me an example you've seen behind. The child is behind the wall. The child. Like a the kid? Child. Okay. The child is behind a wall. Good. Very good. Who's next, Daisy? Um. 
Elmer. Okay. Elmer. Oh, I think Elmer was having trouble with the microphone. So maybe we can choose. Let's see. Eduardo Omar, I haven't heard you today. Tell me a sentence using behind, please. My keys are behind my cell phone. Okay, very well, thanks. And choose one of your classmates, Eduardo. Perdón? Choose one of your classmates. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Choose one of your okay. classmates. Um, Salvador Ruano. Okay. Hey, Salvador. Can what you... happened? Mm -hmm. Two, two, two times. Salvador. Okay. Come on, participate, Salvador. <laughs> so tell us a sentence yeah. using next to. Please. Two. Next to. Next to. Okay. Yes. Mm, my glasses. Mm -hmm. And next to in my book. My glasses are next to my book. Okay, very well, thank you. And let me okay. choose another person for having an example using under, Arminda Cruz. Can you provide an example using under, please? The shoes are under the bed. The shoes are under the bed. Okay, very well. That was good. You made your sentences. If just something to keep in mind is that we always use the verb be, right? So here, a, let me write an example. Well, the example we just got. The shoes are under the bed. So remember to always use the verb be. The shoes are, or I say the glass is on the the table, let's see. The glass is on the table. So we use are or is, depending on the subject. But we always need it. We cannot omit it. No podemos omitir acá el verb be. Siempre hay que usarlo, okay? So keep that in mind. And that will be all for today's class. Thanks for your attention and participation. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.